Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about more retarded shit from people Lixon. Don't judge me, I'm being very inclusive here. I am, you know, saying people is actually very, very transphobic. You need to actually add an X at the end. So it's people, uh, people, and then there's a PL and an X. Get it? You need to be inclusive. Right. Two proposed adults and trailers and see Gabrielle Union, Zach Braff, wrangle their unruly brood in Reboot. A new trailer has dropped for Disney Plus, cheaper by the dozen remake, starring Zach Braff, Gabrielle Union, and two parents within a multiracial blended family of 12. Oh, Jesus Christ. Braff, 46, when you're 49, play Zoe and Paula Rance gives some of the hilarious adventures. 10 kids, as Paul declared, we are not a cult, but we are weird. I don't care, I don't care. I don't, don't care, Blackish, don't care. Reboot comes 18 years after the 2003 film starring Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt debuted in theaters. The sequel, Cheaper by the Dozen 2, followed soon, soon followed two years later, starring Eugene Levy as the patriarch of a rival family with equally as many kids. The original Cheaper by the Dozen came in, out in 1950 and was based on the autobiographical book by Frank Bunker. Gilbert Jr. and Ernestine Gabriel, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Either way, my point is, and as it stands right now, I want to use that as an intro so you know what I'm talking about. Quite frankly, what a waste of time reading down the article. But here it is, cheaper by the goddamn fucking dozen. Yeah. Instead of actually creating another story, maybe, maybe actually going on and make it another family or act as if one of their oldest sons uh, from Steve Martin's family became married or, I don't know, had a couple of kids, then joined with another bitch and, and, and the both bitches started having fucking and the fucking and the... And the fucking thing allowed them to reproduce like goddamn fucking horny rabbits. But no, they've decided to reboot. It just shows that they are creatively fucking bankrupt, aren't they? Look at this, this is not cheaper by the dozen. You could actually go and say it, it could be, if you followed my idea of taking out one of the characters, because, after all, as you have, as, as, Jesus Christ English! Let's see, not toxic myself, I think we're good. Anyway, as you can see here, Baker, 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 Baker. Yeah, if you notice, those are the same surnames as the other family from Steve Martin's movie Cheaper by the Dozen. It's Baker, 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 Baker. Yeah, but as you also noticed, only the first names actually changed. So basically, is the same goddamn fucking story. The only difference is, well, got Ray swapped because diversitus is required. It's just not right. Look, I'm pretty sure you can come up with a different set of ideas, a different kind of movie, a new IP, something new and exciting that you can actually cast on blacks. I know, I understand that Hollywood views blacks as the epitome of diversity, and if there is an all-black cast, all-black um, support cast, and all-black production company that is considered the epitome of diversity without even a single Asian white character or a white person working for that. I understand that's how racist Hollywood is. But I am sure that you people are actually, no, no, I'm not anymore. No, those are what happened in the years long ago, those years from the early noughties and nineties, in which they were capable of creating an all cast black movie or TV show that was original, that was interesting and, and it was funny and it was good. My, the biggest of all examples after the, that they have decided to ruin today is Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It was an excellent comedy that I whole fucking heartedly recommend to anyone and everyone to watch. 
Today the remake is uh, it's, uh, it's following the, the the current year politics and uh, it looks depressing. Not because depressing bad jokes. It's because it's uh, supposed to be depressing. And then and then there was the excellent TV show My Wife and Kids. I think that I got the name right. Uh, I. I watched the series and I laughed in every single episode and I laughed my ass off! And guess what? It was a completely black family. It was original, it was funny, it was great! Why can't we have things like that anymore? Why can't we have... Why do we always seem to get the discount diversity remakes like this, huh? Can someone explain this to me? Why are people so goddamn creatively fucking bankrupt? So get us something like this. I, 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 I'm not even discounting that Zach Braff and Gabriel Union are not, are not good actors. They are. Both of them are great actors. It's just that I am so goddamn tired of race swaps. And things for diversities, just because you need to be diversities, because you're so goddamn fucking creatively bankrupt, but still, come on, dude. Anyway, I've added those characters here on the list of blackwashing. Wanna know the biggest reason why I created this list before I go on? It was actually to prove to goddamn fucking few woke tards that Hollywood actually has a very, very strong bias in favor of blackwashing and not whitewashing, as these morons like to claim. And guess what, I proved them right. This is more like a Pyrrhic victory than anything else. I feel sad. Hey, at least on the Polo side, which nobody says or mentions, is that now I have a list? Okay. Anyway, and from black washing, so we start with one, a counter, then Achilles. Fuck me, I'm moving on. And, well, there's a 50. You think it stops here? Ha! <laughs> hey, you think it stops here? <laughs> no, 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 no. And there you go, 228 entries. I'm right now trying to get confirmation for Halo TV series to add them here. And I'm definitely looking forward to Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power characters to be added here as well. Yeah, those numbers here, 228, I'm pretty sure it's based on what I expect. Let's see, two more from Halo TV, which I suspect it is, so 230. More a couple of from Rings of Power, so at least three or four, so 234 right now of what we expect. But until I get confirmations, it's going to stay 228. So, Asian washing, surprisingly not as numerous as you, was, as you once thought. Hispanic washing, not very, not very common, really. Brown washing, that's uh, surprising. White washing, you would expect this one to be massive, more massive than black washing based on the goddamn fucking arguments by the fucking aborted fetuses that are the woke tards because they claim that Hollywood is so damn biased for white people. You would think that this was big, it turns out it's not. And to make a point, I, I, I think the oldest entry I have here is. 1944, I think so. I, I think there was something earlier or not. Oh yeah, there it is. 1937, I actually had to dig through time to actually add any entries here. So you can't even claim that I'm being goddamn fucking biased. If I actually did the same thing for blackwashing, that list, those 228, would be even more. Even bigger, even more entries. But now, nah, god damn it. 
All we want is original shows. I know it requires a lot of thought, it requires a lot of trial and error, but you will get not only a new IP, you get respect. But now, no, you're going to remake of a remake doing it. Yes, it's not even based on the original. It's a, it's a remake based on the remake, which was based on the original. <sighs> anyway, what you're doing here is not only destroying the lore from the, ori the original remake, but also the, uh, the lore from the original, which is the remake was based on, which was also based on the book. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's confusing as fuck. But still, this just shows they have no respect for fans, they have no respect for the viewers, they have no respect for anyone of any identity politics be damned, but in this case, not even respect for the black viewers because they prefer to tokenize them for diversity's sake so they can appear as if they were, I don't know, progressives, but they are in fact very regressives. Ah, fucking miserable cunts on that goddamn fucking hell. Have a great fucking night. Because definitely that family had a lot of fucking. Yeah.